Recycling is a very important thing, especially when it comes to batteries. Just recently I had to annoyingly change these batteries here. I did not want to do it, but I had to do it because uh, my sister is not around, okay? She's in Australia and this is, has been bothering the fuck out of me. Maybe I'm an attention deficit, hyperactive prostitute, but whatever. This clock here, yeah, is prominently displayed about there, you can see the the outline of it, the sh nobody call, whatever you call that thing, whatever. It's the round thing, the shadow because of the the smoke and the oil. Wait, oil is plural. The oil and uh, the, you can see the that round halo there. That's where the clock used to be. And uh, been going around wondering. Why is the clock always at 3.45 when now it is actually, what time? 9.30 Today I woke up around 6 p 6 a.m. Slept at 12 or earlier last night. Now it's about uh, 9.40 a.m. So what I was saying, yes! I never wanted to do it but I was bothered by that uh, clock because your eyes is always focusing on what time because us human beings, we have a tendency to want to know what time it is. Okay, let's see here. Nowadays, we have smartphones. Nobody use watches anymore. I do use a watch because I'm an old school cool guy. Definitely. You know from all my videos, I'm a cool cat. Definitely. And the watch that I use now is only one. I only have one watch. This is the Casio that comes with a... It's not a smart smart watch. It comes with a thermometer. It's thirty one degrees Celsius in the apartment. It's cooler outside. And uh, nowadays you won't find anybody wearing watches, so because of the smartphones. But what does it mean if you were to wear a watch? Does it mean you are classy? Yes, I think so. When you are in Malaysia, if you were to wear a watch, that watch would definitely be a big watch, not as big as. This thing here, you won't put this clock on your wrist because this is a bit too heavy and it looks a bit too silly and it actually would attract attention, which is what society is nowadays, is to attract other people's attention. We are makeup, make yourself pretty and definitely all the guys will be oogling at you. If you're wondering why I'm going about uh, weirdly and not smoothly, it's because it's this chair here, which I use to prop myself up as a ladder to mount that clock. That heavy clock, this is not a cheap clock which is made of plastic from China, so this is made of some kind of metal, so it's a bit heavy and it has some Paris on it. Not that I've been to Paris, so I'm not sure whether my sister has been to Paris or not, I'm not sure. So, what was I saying? Yes, everybody wants to attract the other sides, uh, the other species, from their opposite sexes, attention, pretty girls, miniskirts, and nowadays I can see that uh, skin, not skinny, very short jeans uh, up until here and the buttocks will be like prominently displayed like a peach lovely uh, those jeans which you cut off around here here and here lovely I like it mm, I went to this uh, Kuchai Lama area in KL with my friend JW uh, the girls Mamma Mia top notch top notch so attracting the opposite sex or gaining some uh, shocking value so that people who social media today yeah ordinary pictures of people is boring but something that is very very flamboyant and controversial like lady gaga's meat uh meat dress am i actually doing something like what we sauce does the the ball guy like i am without the the what do you call porn mustache or porn beard Am I going off kilter to everywhere and not to the topic at hand? I think I'm doing that because who knows why. So everybody wants to attract people's attention. This is how we are today. Is it good? I'm not sure because like a resource video, it does not go into a definite answer at all. It does not go into my opinion, but it just encompasses everything everywhere, takes the negatives and the cons and does not tell you straight away what is the answer, making that video useless and of course equivalent to dog shit turn on the streets 
of Malaysia because the video has just wasted your 10 minutes of your life and you won't get it back because it was pointless to begin with but quite entertaining. Did, did it uh, educate you? Yes, of course, but did it actually make you... Well, the purpose of that video is to find out what the YouTuber thinks about it. Of course, the YouTuber would not say outright, I'm in the camp of A instead of B. He would just say, uh, I'll be in the middle between the A and the B cup because breast needs to be either too small or just right enough for the palm of my hands. So what's it got to do with uh, clocks here? No idea actually, I'm just, uh, I'm just wasting time because I want the videos to be 10 minutes. Okay, wearing this on your wrist will give you a couple syndrome, which I have. I have couple syndrome finger version. It's been clicking a lot lately. Collecting mad art pictures individually is hard work. Yes. You have to work for your art, your mad art, nude girls. Mm. Of the Caucasian type and of the Polish type. Mamma mia, so superb. I want to masturbate now. So, yes, now it's working because the the whatever thing that operates it is it nuclear power? No, it's not nuclear power, it's a battery. Batteries have been around for ages since I was a wee lad, so it is pride and proven technology that we are using to power our clocks. And that's why the humble battery, which I cannot find, where is it, is very important. Oh, there it is. Oh, did you see the laptop? Shit, uh, there was a naked picture there. Uh, so, just in case you don't know, there. So, battery is very important and very deadly too. Why is it deadly? It's deadly to the children of poor countries like in the Philippines and in India. A lot of people in the slums, and slums sometimes they live near a uh, rubbish dump. Uh, slums are normally in the big cities, and big cities have a lot of people in it, and lots of people who own houses or rent houses, they produce waste, rubbish, stuff, like so. When their TV breaks, they throw it somewhere. And when they throw it somewhere, it will end up at the rubbish dump. A huge rubbish dump, a very big one. Very big one. There's a lot of stuff that you can find in it and recycle, and that's where the children of the slums come in. They go there, they forage for stuff that is reusable, which can be broken down into smaller parts that are important, not to say important, but important to them in the, in the likes of being able to exchange it for money, because money is needed to buy food. Food does not grow by itself, actually it grows by itself, but they don't have the land because their land they're living in is a slum. It's very small, lots of people in one small square meet per meter or something like that. So they, have, they don't have land to grow crops because they are lack of resources, land. <sighs> and therefore, food is important because you need food to grow, especially for children. And malnourishment in India is a common team or life, uh, life problem for them. They need nourishment and eating a battery is not a solution because the things inside this can kill you. It has cadmium, has lithium, especially lithium is for the reusable batteries. And these ones here are not... This double A, it's quite huge, like my Asian penis. It's, it's got chemicals in it, chemicals, okay? And it can burst into flames, it's dangerous too, very dangerous. So sometimes it's not as advisable to actually poke into it because once the chemical inside it, in its raw form, exposes itself to the air, a chemical reaction will occur. Thus, sometimes with spectacular results like fireworks, not fireworks, maybe burning, yes. Your battery runs hot and sometimes will explode or burn because of this chemical reaction between the whatever is inside here, the chemicals inside here, with the air. So, it's dangerous and sometimes when it's punctured, it does not combust or burn itself out because of the air. No, nope, it will just leak into somewhere, into the streams, in the water, pollute the place and... It's not good for everybody, especially the children. Children, they are growing, and in this very vital time between zero and maybe 15 years old, 
especially the girls, they need to like, uh, they need to grow their breasts, which is very important because we are, have gone full circle. Breasts is best. Breasts, you need it to attract the opposite sex. Men love breasts. The bigger they are, the more awesome the girl will be and the more guys will be attracted to the girl. Breasts is important and you, do want, you don't want the breasts to be full of chemicals. Uh, breasts is made, primarily made of water and also fat. Fat is a very good area for chemicals to propagate, not propagate, to accumulate in. So breasts with chemical... I don't think you will like girls with uh, neon glowing breasts, although it's kind of kinky and uh, at first quite enticing, but later on when you think about it, a She-Hulk type of girlfriend is not what you want. Green skinned breast seems like a rotting breast, right? So batteries are bad and that's why you must recycle batteries, okay? Go to your nearest shopping complex in Malaysia, of course, if you're in Japan and anywhere else. In a shopping complex, there will be some of those uh, blue, yellow stuff and at your convenience, do do it because you will be saving lives. Children from India, Philippines, all the poor countries, even, even in Malaysia, we have slums too, I think. I don't think so, but I think, maybe, who knows. I'm not a, I'm not a wizard, I can't, I can't know everything all at once, I'm a, not the know-all be-all, but please recycle because at your own convenience and by the true kindness of your heart, yeah? The true kindness of your heart and you beautiful girls out there, hit me up, man. We have a good time. So, recycle. This is the best thing you can do at your own convenience. <sighs> Thus, likely. Thus, at your own convenience. And it's not convenient for me to go to a shopping complex and therefore, it's just thrown into a rubbish bin and you will end up at the rubbish dump. To the consternation of slum dwellers everywhere. Fact of life. Deal with it.